लाइफ में कितने भी डिस्ट्रैक्शन क्यों ना आए कितने भी प्रॉब्लम क्यों ना आए आपका गोल आपके लिए इतना क्लियर और विजिबल होना चाहिए कि उसके अलावा आपको कुछ नहीं दिखे लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू अ पर्सन टुडे जिन्होंने एग्जैक्टली ऐसा ही किया उनको सिर्फ और सिर्फ उनका लक्ष्य बहुत ही साफ दिखा एंड दैट इज एग्जैक्टली द रीजन आई एम कॉलिंग हर नीट चैंपियन सो लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू प्रतीक्षा तो so, प्रतीक्षा आपने हमें बिल्कुल भी प्रतीक्षा नहीं करवाई है एंड वी आर वेरी हैप्पी दैट यू आर हियर विद अस सो हाउ आर यू फीलिंग नाउ दैट एवरीथिंग इज ओवर हार्ड वर्क सक्सेस सब मिल गया हां द बेस्ट थिंग इज आई फील रिलीव्ड सो फॉर द टू इयर्स द वर्स्ट पार्ट वाज नॉट नोइंग व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन ऑन दैट डे बिकॉज़ देयर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स व्हिच आर आउट ऑफ आवर कंट्रोल बट नाउ दैट इज ऑल फाइनली ओवर एंड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट आई हैव गिवन माय बेस्ट एंड आई एम रिलीव्ड दैट द एग्जाम इज ओवर just the way i thought it would be so also talk about uh, this dream that you saw i mean uh, you know a uh, doctor are you going to be the first doctor in your family yes i am going to be the first doctor in my family and that is something i'm really looking forward to many congratulations for that as well thank you now uh, you've already done half of the battle you've already won mm-hmm. right now there's obviously there's so much more to see but uh, any tip that you learned in this journey any any suggestion you would want to give to neat aspirants who are listening to you right now the first thing i want to tell is never ever ever give up not in the tiniest way possible just never give up always work towards your goal with full determination with full work and everything and like what you're doing like whenever we ask something they tell work hard mm. but it really doesn't have to be that hard when you're enjoying what you're doing mm. so when you enjoy what you're doing you'll never really know how time flies like when i was studying i would really not know that anything else is happening around me the tv was going on i wouldn't know it was happening mm. the cell phone was ringing i would really wouldn't notice any of that when i was reading it was just me and my books and i was in that world of that and the story whatever the book was telling uh, another thing which is very important to remember is to connect the facts For example, seventy-four percent. Uh, like I always had trouble remembering whether Water Act was in nineteen seventy-six or nineteen seventy-four, and I used to do mistakes because in the option there would be nineteen seventy-four and nineteen seventy-six. So what I did was in chemistry we learned that seventy-four percent is a packing efficiency. So that seventy-four percent was very easy for me to remember. So I connected that seventy-four with the nineteen seventy-four of the Water Act. And another thing is just be strong, like. having low scores is something which everyone experiences mm-hmm. it is not possible to have neat journey without low scores right. but you know pain can be a real really very powerful motivator like pain should not be channeled into getting all depressed and sad and all that you can channel that pain only into making yourself better and that is something if you do you will reach into results which you never expected could be reached mm-hmm. like in my mock test my lowest scores would be followed by 720s this is a pattern i observed so many times so that is what i did i always took my pain channeled it into making myself better and i would achieve the result which i wanted to wow. and you always need to be confident and it is very difficult to have the right amount of confidence like we tend to get under confident or we can also get over confident overlook so many things during the exam hmm. so having the right amount of confidence is also important and will be very confused as to what is the right amount of confidence hmm. but that is something you'll figure out yourself when you did the days work and you're satisfied with yourself and you feel like i am preparing for need and i am in the right direction then you are confident and that is the right amount of confidence my goodness i can't even imagine how positive you are and <laughs> how dedicated you are the way you explain the subjects i don't need to you know uh, go back and ask your parents that how dedicated you are as a student i can see that lekin we have few students here waiting for us because uh, you know they also want to experience what you are experiencing at this moment so uh, any questions for pratiksha if you have first of all congratulations thank you so much actually i just wanted to ask that uh, we have four subjects mm-hmm. and we uh, have to manage all of them right and uh, sometimes we don't know that how to manage or how to study that uh, particular part or particular subject properly right. so i would uh, like to know your strategy that you followed mm. so managing the four subjects is quite difficult especially for neat because we need to look into detail for each of it like physics ka ncert tables and all that stuff which we generally tend to ignore so that is a difficult thing about neat but i'd say biology is something you like so it is quite easy to do it and uh, before any test because we will always have test right 
So and if you go with the test, go with the planner of the test, you can easily cover the subjects. But what is important is to revise it a few, two, three times. You need to revise before every test so that it gets easy to remember. Uh, we'll take one last question. First of all, heartful con congratulation to you. And I want to ask that during our preparation, uh, some time comes when we feel very demotivated right. and we feel like uh, I don't know what to do now and we like we feel very sad and we don't know where to start and where to end so how did you deal with this usually what demotivates us is our low scores right or uh, seeing someone else get much better scores than us with lesser work something like that so it's always you should not compare yourself with other people that is very important you are doing this on yourself like this is your need journey other people are there but you should always use the help of other people but never compare yourself with them we should measure ourselves with our own measuring tape right so it is not fair to compare yourself just keep 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 your goal at like just keep looking at your goal and you have to keep working for it never stop ever never ever stop that's the first thing i wanted to tell never give up it is very important like even in the tiniest ways you should not give up should always keep at it and if you feel demotivated you'll always have that one therapist friend or family member to whom you can tell anything so just vent out or you can use paper like write down whatever you are feeling and get it out of your system and you'll feel a lot better after that so you should just you know or you can cry okay i've heard like people telling crying is a weakness and all that but if you cry for like you know a few five ten minutes you feel so relieved and you feel like okay i can put things back together so that's also okay but just don't spend too much time in being sad or being depressed because there is so much to achieve in life. One test is okay. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Wow, Pratiksha. I mean, the passion, the love you have for your subjects, it's, it's amazing. And uh, we can have this conversation the entire day. But it's time for us uh, to call your mother who's here with us in the studios. So let's welcome Pratiksha's mother now. Ma'am, many congratulations. Thank you. Uh, what a brilliant child Pratiksha is. We were talking about different subjects and love she has for them. Now, uh, you know, as a mother, what was the difference that you noticed when you actually saw that she has the potential, you know, to become a doctor? I'm very happy, ma'am. Hmm. And uh, she is very dedicated to do all her work. From the childhood, she is like that only. Achha. So I'm extremely happy to have that uh, MBBS as her profession to pursue MBBS and doctor as her profession. Okay, and as she mentioned also, she's going to be the first doctor in the family. Yeah, yeah, that is uh, everybody's wish from my family. Okay. That's why I'm very happy for Akash. Whatever they said that they will give 100%, they gave. So that's the best thing in Akash. So approved by parents. Yeah, approved by parents. <laughs> okay. So uh, any particular uh, lifestyle schedule that you followed for her so that she can be at her best? Yeah, actually uh, she didn't come for so many functions. She dedicated two years totally for reading and going to Akash. She always likes to be in Akash classes. Okay. Actually, that is the she will be waiting for Saturdays and Sundays because she has joined for Akash classes. Always she will be waiting for Saturdays, Sundays to go to Akash class. If she has wings, she will fly to Akash building. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's very interesting, Pratiksha. Why so much of love for Akash? Well, uh, the environment in Akash was amazing and I had chosen the weekend batch so it was very easy to fit that in my schedule. So weekdays for self-study and weekend for Akash and learning. So Akash, my teachers were very good and uh, the environment, the learning partners and all of that was amazing. So I felt like I was at my best when I was in Akash. So wow. I was always looking forward to that. Wow, that's, that's very nice. Ma'am, in fact, I also want to know, uh, uh, I'm sure you must have made certain changes in the house. So, uh, to all those parents who are listening to you right now and they are also helping their kids for this neat journey, any suggestion and tips for them how they can prepare their child in the right manner? Yes, ma'am. First thing, they should have trust in their child. They should not compare the other child with their kids. That's the thing it should be. And uh, give them ample of time. So that in teenage, they'll be having so many things to deal with. As a parent, we should be very friendly with them and we should help them. Okay, that's a wonderful tip. And any last minute tip for all those neat aspirants? You are an inspiration now, role model for them. <laughs> 
so the only thing i would tell is be confident be determined and just give your best and just hope for the best but be prepared for the worst so and there are so many things which we cannot control what right. happens on on the exam day so that is really out of our hands and there is no use worrying about all that during the exam before the exam or even after the exam so just be happy prepare your best and you should you know study every day in such a way that your future self when he or she looks back at the day you should feel no regrets mm -hmm. like i had done my best every single day if you do that you'll be satisfied with yourself you'll be happy with yourself and if that happens your exam will go really well wow and i'm so happy i got the opportunity to have this conversation with you pratiksha so thank you so much thank you so much ma'am ma in you. fact mere ye cheez aaj jaani hai pratiksha se ki uh, कई लोग तो सिर्फ पढ़ाई करते हैं लेकिन कई लोगों को प्यार होता है अपने काम से एंड व्हेन यू लव योर वर्क तो लगता ही नहीं है कि आप काम कर रहे हो तो प्रतीक्षा का जो पैशन है उनके सब्जेक्ट के लिए उनके नीट की प्रेपरेशन के लिए वो काफ़ी लोगों के लिए आज एक बड़ी मिसाल बन चुका है